So you've dipped a toe into the world of SEO and started to hear about funny things called metadata. Oh no, you think. Your heart rate increases, your palms get sweaty, and it all sounds like it's getting a bit too complex. Well, I'm here today to give you the lowdown on this aspect of SEO and show you that it's really not as scary as it seems. Let's start here. What's metadata? Well, metadata are invisible pieces of code that provide search engines with information about what's on your web page. They basically tell these search engines, like Google, for example, what your content is about, and Google then goes and decides how high up on the search results your page will rank. They don't show up on your page, but the SEO title and page description show up in the search results as those short lines of text that tell you what a website is all about. How you add metadata to your web page depends on which platform powers your site. This can be easier or harder depending on the platform that powers your website. A site builder like Squarespace will have a dedicated section for page titles, descriptions and keywords, and it should be pretty easy to find. If your site was made from scratch, however, you'll need to code this information into the header of your website, which is a little more complicated. So what is the page title? Well, this is the bold one-liner that shows up first in the search results. It should give users a clear indication of what they can find on your web page, but be engaging enough to make them want to read more. This should be followed up by clear description that expands upon the title and that hopefully includes keywords that you want search engines to rank you for. It's a good idea to keep this description shorter than 165 characters, but exciting enough that readers can't help but to click through. And there you have it. Your next step is to get into the back end of your website and think through your wording. Being strategic, effective, and concise are key here. Good luck.